you just heard the experts say the demand is there, especially when it comes to our cars in San Diego. Yeah, our lives are built around them in Southern California. Joining us now with a deeper dive into high gas prices and what's fueling them is Doug Shoup from the Auto Club of Southern California. Doug, thanks for joining us today on The Floor. Yeah, good afternoon, Carlo and Heather. Thanks for having me on. You know, first, I just want to get right into the, the fear factor here. How high could prices go? You know, that is the big question that's on all of our minds, yeah. and we just don't know how high they're going to go or when. The reality is, is fluctuations in gas prices truly depend on the crude oil prices. And right now, the crude oil prices have several factors leading to that upward pressure. Most notably is the situation between Russia and Ukraine. But also we're seeing an increase in demand for gasoline, which is typical for this time of year, as people start to want to get out there to head out on spring break road trips. And of course, summer road trips right around the corner. And then also, we are now paying for that summer blend fuel, which is more expensive to produce. That entered the marketplace here in Southern California about three weeks ago. Let me ask you about that real quick. You said summer blend. It's just into March. That means we kicked into summer blend in February. Summer doesn't really begin until June. So tell me the calendar on that, because that's tough to understand. You're right, the summer blend enters the marketplace earlier here in Southern California. Uh, you know, with the warmer temperatures that we experience already some days, uh, it, that summer blend fuel is made to be less likely to evaporate on, in warmer temperatures, but it's about, you know, 15 to 20 cents more per gallon, and it's more expensive to produce, and the cost of producing that is passed along to consumers. San Diego drivers now paying 538 on average for a gallon of regular and let it that is up a nickel from just yesterday it's up 53 cents from a week ago up 70 cents from a month ago and it's up a dollar 59 per gallon from a year ago now to put that into perspective that means someone with the typical mid-size sedan with a 14 gallon size fuel tank they are paying more than 22 dollars to fill up that same tank of gas today than one year ago doug uh governor gavin newsom is proposing suspending uh, the increase in the gas tax, Republican legislators and some Republican local politicians, including San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond, they want to eliminate the gas tax completely for six months. Is that a good idea in the triple in AAA's eyes, or is there too much downside here? Well, you know, really, it, ju it just depends on who you ask. And, and right now, our focus really is to educate drivers that regardless of what happens, there are simple steps that they can take every single day to maximize their fuel efficiency. The bottom line is, is we're not going to see uh, these prices move lower until this situation between Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine ends and we get less uh, pressure on those crude oil prices. That's the biggest factor right now. And so, you know, we're reminding everybody, just do what you can to maximize your fuel efficiency every day. We can't control what we're paying at the pump, but we can control how we drive and what we do to our vehicles. Yeah, gosh, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do. But let me end with this question, though, Doug. Is there something besides that that people can do? Who should they be emailing? Who should they be putting pressure on in order to try to get some of these prices low or just some solid answers? Because certainly the Ukraine uh, situation is not the only factor involved in this. Right. You know, definitely work with your family, with your friends. Try to combine your errands into fewer trips per day. Really, the number one way to maximize that fuel efficiency, make sure that vehicle's well maintained. If you're driving on underinflated tires, you're wasting money. If you're driving too fast, you know, obey the speed limit because the faster the vehicle is going, the more fuel you're burning. Uh, try to park in the shade when you can to lessen the heat buildup in your car so your AC doesn't have to work as hard. And here's a good one, you know, shop around for the cheapest gas prices. We're creatures of habit. We go to that one gas station because it's easy to get to, but on your daily commute to work or taking the kids to school, if you see stations selling for less and you don't have to drive too far out of your way, we encourage you to visit those stations instead. All right, Doug Shoot with Triple A, uh, trying to ease the pain at the pump a little bit, but it doesn't sound like there's much relief anytime soon. But thank you for your time and the tips.